Hey everybody, welcome to another recap of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 22, Episode 6. I am actually going to be talking to Miss Courtney, who is on this current cycle, and I'm really excited because she was the one model that I met who I really underestimated, and now that I've seen her go through now six episodes, she's killing it, she looks great, and I think people don't expect her to do really well, but I'm really proud of her that she's doing so well. So I'm really excited to talk to her about it. But first, disclaimer, I want everybody to know that I know nothing about what happened on Cycle 22. I don't know who was eliminated in what order. I don't know who won. I don't know any of the drama. So what I see in the episodes is exactly what you guys are seeing. So I only have that to base it off of. And I just ask the models and see if they want to do a recap with me. So none of it has to do with who goes home and who stays. So I'm learning just as much as you are. So let's call Miss Courtney on Skype and start going over episode six. Let's go. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. I think this is the first time that me and you actually get to talk. I know. Like, the party was so loud. And I know. Was, like, There's was, like, too many people. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how's life? Good. I'm back at my old job until I get, like, my modeling career going and stuff. So. Yeah. That's awesome. How is it watching yourself on TV? It is so crazy. Like, Listening to my own voice, it's like, I sound like <laughs> <laughs> I know, I hated that part. I get comments that I look drunk and my confessional. Like, <laughs> like, no, I'm not drunk, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and talk about this episode. I mean, this episode for me was probably the best one so far. Um, and so Lacey won best photo last week. So you walk in and you see her picture and she is all happy. And then... I think y'all immediately kind of go into your challenge. Um, are you? Have you been a huge fan of Top Model for a while? Oh yeah, I've seen every cycle. Okay, good. Because I'm like... My, my top favorites of all time are Annalie, like uh, Sophie Sumner from... 18. Oh yeah, 17. No, uh, 18. Klein is yes. Favorite. Yeah, those are my... You got some good favorites. Um, Nicole, no, Kayla. The red hair, the lesbian. Oh, yeah, the one, yeah. Oh, I loved her. For me, Whitney was one of my favorites from Cycle 10 when she won. So how was it walking in and seeing her there for your challenge? Well, when I watched her on the cycle, it was like, it's kind of the same but opposite. Like, I'm really skinny, like, and she's a, like, you know, a plus-size model. So she suffers from being, like, not suffers, but, you know, has to go through people calling her things about her weight, and then I have to go through things about my weight also. Yeah. It's kind of an inspiration. Like, no matter what you look like, you can still be a model no matter what. Oh, like, yeah. Her, plus being the first, um, like, plus-size model to win as well. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, like, I couldn't see her at first because there was a light, like, those really big lights in front of where I was standing. And Kelly says, oh, Whitney's here. I'm like, <laughs> where? Where is she? Crazy. <laughs> uh, no, but I was I was really excited that they brought her back because she's always been one of my favorites. Um, and like you said, she's just yeah. a really oh, big inspiration for people. Devin. How was that? How was getting paired with Devin and working with him? Because I know that there was a lot of tension that we saw in the episode, but how was it from your perspective? Um... Well, it was more of, like, I was just not okay with him at that point. So I'm like, let's just be professional and let's do this. Yeah. I, let, I kind of just let him take over because he, he's with six agencies. So I feel like he 
knows what he's talking about. So I kind of just chose my clothes and let him decide the rest. Yeah. But he, like, outshined me. <laughs> so it wasn't very... I, I would have loved to be paired with Ava. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it, they... You can kind of get a vibe of like, okay, they're not going to put you with your friends. They're not going to put you with people that you know. Right. They put everybody kind of with someone that they don't really have any experience working with. So, which is the worst part because every every competition for me, I would have been like, I want to be with Ray Leah. Let's let's do it. I'm going to win. <laughs> so out of the out of the pairs in the groups for this challenge, who were you threatened by the most? Who did you think was going to do the best? Um. It was actually really funny. I was in an interview and uh, someone asked, they asked me, so what do you think of Mikey and Mom make his name? I'm like, wait, that happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was outside the whole time. Like, I knew that like, it's a really strong group and I was, I was excited to like watch them and see what happens and I didn't even get to. And then funny. Oh, well, Mikey made out with Mom. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Actually, out of everyone, I think the winners, not Ella and Justin, did the best. Like, I didn't expect them to, just because sometimes I know with Niall, like, being able to hear, he has to focus on our mouths and, like, right. lips and everything, so it would be hard to focus, but he... he I mean, they did, so. they did really well. <laughs> Their, their little picture with Whitney was really good. I like theirs. I mean, obviously, I think theirs was the best, but I think everybody did really well. Um, the part, like, within um, our challenge, like, we switched up so many, we made so many things out of it. There was actually a part when Debbie and I pretended to be married. Like, and she was the... <laughs> just, oh, my gosh. And then they're like, maybe pretend that you're getting married, but you hate each other. <laughs> like, what? Like, okay. So, as you're watching everybody do their challenge, who do you think struggled the most? Um, not necessarily that they did, like, awful, but who do you think had the hardest time kind of making it happen? Um, I think Hadassah. She just needs a little bit more, like... I think that's why they kept her in these last two when she was in the bottom. They see something in her, and they're just trying to get it out of her. And, like, um get her to step it up a little. Just like me. <laughs> we both need to step it up. <laughs> well, the funny thing is is that you remind me a lot of Lennox. Yeah, I get them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I, I really feel that your personality in the house was very similar to Lennox where everybody like loved being around you and loved talking to you, but it's like they want to they wanna help you like gain confidence and stuff so that you can like... Exactly. like be the amazing and beautiful model that, that everybody else can see, but you can't see in yourself. She actually, like, watching her was what made me want to come on this year. So that's why I tried this year. And then after I put the application in, they put the light and kind of down like, yes. Is this going to happen? Look <laughs> for me. I know it. <laughs> this is going to happen. I was actually in an online uh, competition. I went on a Lennox fan page and posted my picture because someone had told me that I looked like her. I'm like, ask me for advice and what you think. And someone made a whole game called Lennox Next Top Model, and I won that. So I put that in my application. Look at you. But I agree with Hadassah. The, the funny thing is, is that when she does her interview, she talks about how everybody is doing so well, but she's not doing well. And I'm like, listen, you, you can do it. Like, you have a beautiful face, and you can take great pictures, but you can't be talking about how everybody else is doing well, but you're not doing good. So you need to step it up. you got to have that extra confidence. There were so many times where it's like, you got to be confident. And, like, during the retouch challenge from last week, I felt so confident about that. Like, when they said, they were pointing out our flaws and stuff, and they said that my teeth, like, in profile, where I felt, uh, now I can't even talk, birth flaw because of my overbite. And so I kind of wanted to be at an angle where it would show that my flaw can look good at the same time. Like, just not all the way, but half. Right. So I didn't, I didn't just misunderstand what they 
Back down I go. <laughs> yeah, no, I I get it. No, I do. It's it's a rough it's a rough experience to be like built up really high and be like, I'm amazing and then all of a sudden it's like, oh dang it, I'm awful. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's what like with um Avery, like I think Avery was telling she was crying before we even got in the panel that after we saw our pictures she was crying that she was going home. And I was like, You're not going home, babe, like I I saw your picture, I see, like, an amazing model, they're not going to send you home. And I thought I was going to be in the middle of the pack, at least, and then I ended up being in the bottom with her. And then she went home, and I felt so guilty, so I'm like, you're not going home, and then she had to be up against me, I'm like, really? <laughs> it's the worst. How was the photo shoot for you? Like, what did you feel when you were doing it? Especially being possessed, that was pretty crazy. I mean, I knew that I could pull off the look and everything, but there's the fan on you, and it's just blowing the fabric every which way. I'm trying to get my feet out of the fabric. Well, that was funny when he was like, all she's doing is kicking. <laughs> I was trying to keep, I was like, they're like, you need to look taller, and you can't do that without seeing your legs. So I'm trying to get my legs out of this like, giant fabric, and everyone's just staring at me like, <laughs> what are you doing, Courtney? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but the thing, well, the thing about your picture is, I really liked it. I don't know why they didn't like it. I think yours looked like a like a possessed little doll. That's kind of what I got from your photo, and it looked you looked great. Well, that's what I thought of when I saw it, and then it's like every name was called, and I'm like, great. <laughs> Dang it. Well, and it's and it's different for y'all because when you go to panel, you don't already know your scores, whereas we already knew our scores and we kind of had an idea who was going to be eliminated. So it's, for y'all, it's like up in the air and you have no idea. When you were watching everybody do the possessed photo shoot, who do you think, just from watching, did the best while you're on set? Absolutely Niall. <laughs> just like they said, Niall was definitely like, uh, Right when they said go, he's upside down. For a minute he was smiling like he was having fun. He's like, wait, stop smiling. And Get it together, Niall. But the other person that I thought did really well in this photo shoot at, on set was obviously Mame, but also Lacey. When Lacey like arched her back all the way, I was like, that hurts me. <laughs> I'm gonna like break. <laughs> like after you're off of it though, they it, like you just get really like dizzy. Oh, so, like, I can half imagine. Of them I didn't even see because I ended up like just going. To like the sitting down, you're like, oh my gosh, oh my <laughs> gosh. The other person that I thought was doing really well that I liked watching was was Bayo because he was doing so much crazy stuff. And it was really cool. Right, he was actually the first one to start screaming. And oh, really? I had everyone scream after that, yeah. Oh, wow. But, yeah, and, he was going crazy with <laughs> Well, when they showed him shooting, I was like, okay, this is really awesome. He's doing a great job. But then when they um, picked his photo for panel, I was like, whoa. Like, that. I really don't think that's his best photo. It was a cool, like, think, like a thought process for the photo, but like, I just don't think that was his best photo. Yeah. Well, I think it was a lot for the wow factor of the pictures, too. Right. But I, I mean, I did. I liked Bayo's picture. His face was a little crazy, but you're supposed to be possessed, and you don't know what kind of demon he had in him. But I did. I liked Ashley's picture. I, I mean, it was so... I was like, where is her body? Her leg is out, and then her body is like, where did it go? <laughs> Maybe she was just straight, like, to the camera. 
Oh, I, I saw it and I was like, how do you do that? <laughs> let's go, let's go through everybody. Hadassah's picture. The judges really liked it. I also, what? I mean, I thought it was really good. I agree with Miss J. I would have liked to see her face more. But I think because it was like a possession photo shoot, like her arch of the back and like her legs and her head, it looked really good. Yeah, it looks real. I mean, I really, really liked it. Um, Devin's picture, but I did, I liked it a lot and I thought that he did a really good job. Um, but it was super intense. Mikey, his picture was good. Really? I think I think that is the reason why his photo didn't turn out. He, he didn't know exactly what Right. Was. That kind of... Well, yeah, and it, it kind of it kind of stinks to be to go first, but I think now that I know that he went first, I think that makes sense why his photo like wasn't super with the theme, um, but I did, I really liked it, and I was surprised that he was uh, in the bottom four. I thought he would have been a little higher. The ranking of everybody was kind of weird to me. I know, the ranking of everybody was kind of weird to me, but whatever. Um, and then there was Justin. His picture was okay. His body was all kinds of crazy. Yeah. His, his critique this week is the same as Niles was last week. Well, and I think it just fits his character because he's, like, so smooth and, like, chill. So when he takes a picture like that, you're like, that's just him. But it's kind of like, okay, give us something else. Who else was there? Mom A's picture was really cool. I thought it was really awesome. Hers was, hers was like, haunting. Cause all like the 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 what's it called the sheets and then her face was like peeking through the sheets it was like boo. <laughs> I was like okay, mommy's coming for you. And then the the other the last person that we haven't talked about was Ava, and I I really am surprised that she was eliminated because I liked her picture. I, I, I really was shocked. I mean, I really liked her photo. Her face looked great. Her body looked great. And I was really surprised that they had, like, negative things to comment about. That hand up in the air, like, kind of, like, just, like, coming at you. Like, reaching for, like, like, save me. Yes. Uh, but... I, th I honestly, for all the photos for this week, I thought everybody did really well. Because I think the theme was so crazy that it kind of didn't matter what you did unless, it all, as long as you made it super, like, intense, it just looked really good on everybody. So, it was a cool, I liked this photo shoot a lot. I think it was really cool. And combined with the challenge, it was a good week for competition. I know it's a, it's a really scary feeling, but how did you feel being in the bottom two, especially with your friend Ava. It was like even more heartbreaking than it should have been because one, I thought I would be higher up. Yeah. And two, I had told Ava that she was and now I was in it with her. So if if she leaves, I feel guilty. And if I leave, then it's like I'm happy for her, but I'm also pissed. Like yeah, <laughs> no, I yeah, I totally get it. With all the drama that's been going on, that's one of my, <laughs> one of my people. That, For know, people that keep you, like, me. calm and sane yeah. and, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I really am sad that Ava was the one to go home. I thought, I, I still do think that she has a lot more potential than what they let her accomplish. Like oh, and the thing about her is that she's going to go on to bigger and better yeah. things. She I has... Mean, she She's fine. And I mean, when I, I went and did a recap with her a couple weeks ago, and when I met her like in person again and saw her like face and her bone structure and like talking to her face to face, I was like, you got it. You got the juice. <laughs> I'm hoping that this drama will kind of calm down and just kind of fizzle out. Yeah, like this, as you can see this week, like even when Hadassah and Mommy were having their fight in the bus, I'm like doing my hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You, you, I think, 
I think you and Lacey are the funniest to watch when there's a fight going on because Lacey's like this. And then you're just like, not even like knowing what's going on. What are you doing? <laughs> Next week, it was, it looks like you're doing a partner's photo shoot. <laughs> I'm excited. They only showed one partner, so I don't know who your partner is. And then, what else did they show in the preview? Oh, you go to the CW and you do an acting yeah. challenge. Yeah. I'm excited <laughs> to see that too, because I know when, that, when we went to the CW and me and Kari were paired up together, it was probably the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done in my entire life. Because <laughs> we had to pronounce all these weird words, and then me and Kari had to, like, kiss and stuff, and I'm like, this is so uncomfortable. Like, you saw Devin with the worst, like, name. I'm like, this is <laughs> It's going to be, I'm excited. It's going to be funny, and then I'm excited to see y'all's photo shoot, too. But I'm excited. You're doing really well, and I am hoping that you stay the whole way through. I know nothing about what's going to happen, so... It's exciting to watch. I think watching you, you're learning and you're doing really well. I, I just think I'm really relatable though at the same time. Like, I agree. Not, I think there's a lot of girls out there that are like 95 pounds and don't think that they can model, but it's their dream and then they just go for it. Well, you don't even, they don't even have to be skinny. I think you give people a voice that if whatever their dream is, like right. you, you're not super tall. You're really thin, but you're doing it and you're making it happen and you're doing really well. And I think that you give people hope that no matter what they want to do, that it, they can do it. And I think it's really like awesome. <laughs> what? I get so many comments like that on Instagram. Which is so I great. Which is so great. That is so awesome. So glad that I got to talk to you about the episode. You're doing amazing <laughs> and I'm glad you stayed around. Oh, um, you too. Oh. I was dying, like, I, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to make this the first episode that I'm not going to cry. I'm like, you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing good till the very end. But thanks for talking with me. You're yeah. so cute, and I am I think you're doing great. But Definitely, as you can see, like, more open and talkative than I was in the house. <laughs> which is great. It's a learning experience. You continue oh, yeah, to grow definitely. past the experience. I will talk to you later. It was so good talking to you, Courtney. You're so great. Thank you. So are you. Thank you. Tell Lemon Tyson hi. I will. <laughs> Bye, Courtney. Bye. Stop, stop, stop. Bye. All right. Thank you so much for watching this recap. Make sure you like this video and comment down below what you thought of episode six. And then subscribe to my channel for even more videos where I'll be doing recaps of the rest of the episodes of America's Next Top Model with even more special friends who will come and do the episodes with me. Um, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey everybody. Hi. Welcome to another recap of America's Next Top Model Cycle 22. This time I have Lacey Claire Rogers with me and... Hi. <laughs> Hi. She got best photo this week. I did. Yes, I got honey. best photo. Hashtag no filter, mm -hmm. all natural, raw and real, no filter. Wait, I already said that. <laughs> she don't need to be retouched. She's perfect. Thank you.